Welcome guys, this is Amog and welcome to a new video. Uh, this is day 5 of my strength training workout program and I was just going to leave to go to the gym and before that I thought I should give you guys some quick update on how I am feeling. As you know guys, my workout program is uh, strength based so it is really heavy. I have to lift heavy every day. So with that heavy lifting uh, comes some soreness. So I am having soreness in my lower back region uh, and also I'm having some issues with my elbow because I don't know what is it but whenever I am pushing and I'm hitting an angle with my elbow uh, I'm getting this pain I'm going to visit the physio and uh, get this fixed but uh, till that I'm wearing elbow sleeves when I'm pushing so today is a push workout I'm going to do a bench press, dumbbell bench press, a normal flat and inclined. Then I'm also going to do push press that is the jerking movement in clean and jerk with the dumbbell. And other chest and another chest and shoulder related stuff. So that's for today's exercise. So let's go. Does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out Expectations, they keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down I'm 
Okay. Ah, yes, I was talking about soreness when I last met you before the workout. So lately, uh, while doing these workouts, I have been suffering for something called as DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness. So that's the full form for uh, DOMS, that is delayed onset muscle soreness. But let me tell you what it is. DOMS is a kind of soreness that every lifter, every athlete suffers from. When, when your body goes from uh, an intensity of a workout which you are not used to. So as I said, I am lately doing very, very, very strength based training that is very heavy lifting. Uh, so that's why my body is not used to that intensity of that heavy lifting every other day. As you saw from day one, I have been lifting heavy. Day two, same lifted heavy. Day three, same lifted heavy. And, and, on, day th and on day three, I did deadlifts and then I did squats which both include lower backs which both include lower back involvement so my lower back is sore delayed onset muscle soreness kicks in like in 24 hours to 72 hours period I have read an article on that I will link that article in the description below so cure for it no cures as such but you can lower that soreness by uh, taking massage, foam rolling, stretching and all that other stuff. Uh, so I'm I'm really concentrating on uh, foam rolling my body, then stretching. As you saw, my warm-up routine uh, includes releases and some certain stretches, like for my thoracic mobility, spine mobility that is, and also my hip mobility. So that's important. And one more thing I wanted to share, that's the reason I am having this talk, uh, is that for the delayed onset muscle soreness, I use this. What is this? What is this? This is fish oil. Ah, this is fish oil. Uh, if you can see it correctly, I'm not showing the brand. It's Muscle Blaze. I'm, I'm, I'm not sponsored by it. Or it's not an advertisement. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I just bought it because it was readily available for me to get. Uh, I bought it from Amazon. So, so this is a fish oil supplement, guys. Uh, as I told you, I read an article. I have, I have done a research on this topic that is delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS, and I have, I have come to a conclusion that there are some things which can help you prevent uh, this muscle soreness. For example, fish oil, that is, which has omega-3 in it and also vita vitamin D and then turmeric, which is an anti-inflammatory and also, also what? And also glutamine, which, which I take currently, it's over there. So fish oil, this is fish oil. Sell it in capsules so that was it so that was it not complicated complicating it much but I'm just telling you I do take fish oil I do take supplements which is supplementary over my diet my diet is my number one priority as if you have saw my videos I I do eat like four or five eggs in one serving uh, that's that's a lot for a normal guy but because I lift I I metabolize it quickly. So that was it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for sticking till the end. And, and don't forget to like this video. Comment down below what do you think about fish oil. And, and share this video with your friends guys. And also subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. And something else? Nothing. Thanks. Bye-bye. It's delicious.